Al parecer España está de moda. No solo hemos recibido recomendaciones de la Comunidad Económica Europea respecto a cómo debemos llevar nuestra economía, sino que encima en el Mundial nos hemos dado el primer batacazo. Es decir, hemos perdido contra Suiza. Los mejores, los del toque. España, la roja. Parece que es todo paralel, paralelo, todo es igual. Todo funciona de la misma manera. Cuando las cosas van mal, solo pueden empeorar. <risa> Bienvenidos una semana más al programa Cuerpos Perfectos. Esta semana tenemos para empezar una entrevista con Gunther Schillerkamp, uno de los mejores competidores de culturismo profesionales que han habido y uno de los primeros hombres en ganar a Ronnie Coleman después de sus victorias en los Olimpia. Eh, a partir de ahí pasaremos a la sección Flash, que serán las entrevistas en, en, entre bastidores del campeonato eh, Ciudad de Hospitalet que es un campeonato de principiantes que organiza Ángel Higuera y Miguel Ángel Martínez. Eh, también tenemos una entrevista dentro de ese mismo, programa, de ese mismo campeonato de, de un luchador, que ya veréis que es un personaje bastante pintoresco, con un buen currículum competitivo también. Es un luchador que hizo una exhibición ahí. Pasamos luego al apartado de dietética y nutrición y entrenamientos, que en este caso hablaremos de dietética, tocaremos el tema de la sal de potasio. Y en entrenamientos hablaremos de los gemelos, cómo entrenarlos y cómo, poder, cómo desarrollarlos. Un, un músculo difícil, un músculo complicado para la mayoría y que muchas veces pensamos que es por factores genéticos que no crece, pero ya averiguaréis que quizá haya otras cosas que no hacemos, que deberíamos hacer para proporcionar una mayor entrada de sangre en esa zona. Eh, todas esta, estas, las dos la secciones esta estará... Eh, es porque hemos recibido mensajes respecto a estos temas de vosotros, de gente que veis el programa. Y nos interesa a partir de ahora también que cuando nos hagáis preguntas respecto a temas interesantes, lo podamos trasladar aquí. Pasaremos enseguida a, la exhibición, a una exhibición, la FIBO de Alemania 2010, pero en este caso no será ni de culturismo ni de fitness, sino que será de lucha extrema dentro de unas jaulas, que es una especie de vale todo, ya lo veréis, espectacular. Y para acabar... Eh... Unas tomas eh, del campeonato Ciudad de Hospitalet de principiantes organizado por Miguel Ángel Martínez y Ángel Higuera, en la que veréis el nivel que hubo y los competidores, las poses, etc. Seguimos con el programa. Okay, so now we're here with Gunter Slierkamp. Uh, he's originally German, but now he lives in the States. And um, yeah, we want to know what is uh, his um, plan for this year. Yeah, hello everybody. Uh, my plan for this year is actually getting back on track, uh, focusing on, you know, putting uh, a certain size on, getting to a look I like and I want for myself and uh, hopefully I will be on stage next year at the Arnold's. Yeah, oh, that's okay. my... Okay, so you're planning on competing again? Actually, yeah, I plan on. Great. But first, you know, I have to... I Actually, first I will have a baby in uh, June, so oh, I... I congratulations. It's, it's baby boy, yeah. So, yeah, yeah I'm very right. excited about yes. it. Yeah. Is it your first? Uh, yes, it's my first, yeah. Oh, great. Cool. So uh, how long have you been away from the competitions now? Um, almost, hold on, three and a half years. Well, that's not too long. 
No, yeah, three and a half, four years. So yeah. that's that's pretty much what it is. Yeah. So how long have you been competing? Um, I started competing uh, when I was 18. Actually, it was here in Essen. Oh yeah. Yeah, right. Actually, across the street here, and it was a newcomer uh, competition. And uh, there were after that six other shows, and I actually won all of them. So and that told me that oh, I might have a talent for this. So and then uh, you know, a couple of years later, I won, uh, won already at 20 the junior world champion. 22, I won uh, when joined the man divisions, uh, European champion, German championship in two. Uh, when was it? 19. When was that? 1992. No. Yeah, 1992. 1992, I was uh, European German championship. 93, I won the world champion Mr. Universe. Uh, in Korea at the heavyweight and then I was pro yeah then you got your pro card yeah yeah so uh, do you miss the competitions now that's why you want to get it uh, you know I, I always felt like I never closed the door really I mean I uh, you know I, I needed to distance myself but but I never officially said okay I, I don't want to do it I just needed to do something different you know for instance <laughs> <laughs> Thinking about it, so and, and well. yeah, and uh, you know, for me, I last year I did a did a serious acting class uh, in Hollywood. It was really great. It was intense for for half a year. So I wanted to do that always. I wanted to find a new agent. I did that, and I work uh, with a manager. So I, I kind of worked on some other things. Obviously, baby checks that was yes. uh, on the plan. <laughs> So, uh, uh, yeah, you know, there, there are a few things I wanted to do and I needed to do and it was good for me to get away, yeah. yeah. You know, also I think my body, uh, you know, once in a while you saying, hey, you know what, maybe I need a break, step aside and see for what I want to do it, you know, and then I need to go back to, hey, I do it for the fans and for myself, yeah. Well, that's the most important thing, that you're it motivated. Is. It is, yeah. So how about your acting career? Um, acting career, it's good. Hey, I, I go to a lot of auditions and if I hit something, I hit something. The thing is, you know, if there's a, if there's a part for my type, obviously, you know, they are not everybody running around with my build, you know, and if they look for a decent look and a, and a, and a physical, you know, big body. Uh, so there's for me actually a high chance that I can get a part. Uh, it happened in commercials, TV commercials a lot because I got already okay. between 10 and 13 TV commercials. Oh really? Over the time I'm over there, yeah. Uh, because it's it's it, I just have a certain look. If I, you know, they always say, oh, you need to tone down. There are more parts, and I say, yeah, but then I'm on three, uh, one of 300 pe uh, three million people. There are a lot of Matt Damons and good-looking actors in Hollywood and, and models who they want to do all acting and they have a good body. They're not big, but they have a good body, you know, like a physical fit yeah, body. Yeah. So then I'm one of three million. So why I'd rather be one of maybe five or only two, you know. Yeah, so you're looking for the one special role for yeah, you. Exactly. That's my <laughs> thing, yeah. What would be your dream role then? Uh, you know, I always say uh, Thor, He-Man, you know, some of the Marvel Super characters here, superheroes, <laughs> yes. And um, you're living now in the States, right? Yeah. And uh, why did you decide to go to the States? Um, because I think you have more opportunities, and uh, I think really you do. And especially at the time when I was here, I, I thought I, it's the best way to do. You know, always admire Arnold. I mean, I got inspired by him and uh, said, you know, I want to do the same. So, yeah. you know. Uh, do you often come to Europe? Um, yeah, and I love to come always back because here are my roots and always will be. Um, you know, I was obviously visiting friends, visiting friends, family, and so that's very important to me too, to yeah. see them at least, you know. So. so you do miss your family here in Europe and the people do, here yeah, sometimes? There's, there's a lot of things I miss. You know, I still like it over there better, but there's also a lot of things I miss, yeah, you know. Yeah. Well, I see that you're in very good shape still. You keep lean all year? Um, I, I mean, I kind of try to in, be in a certain condition. Yeah, I, I kind of, you know, the, I, I'm over that being like over heavy and putting on size too much because I think it, for me, for my look, I didn't think it's attractive. So that's why I try to like to stay leaner because it gives me also more jobs. Yeah. So when I book commercials or anything on TV, it was always when I got ready for shows. So when I actually got leaner and, you know, the face comes down a little bit, you know, it is a better look for TV too, you know. Yeah. yeah. But uh, when you're doing a preparation for a competition, how long... Um 
do you do that for and how is your preparation? Um, you know, it, it, for me, the focus point is almost like six months. You know, there's a time 